what's good with all my real ones out there it's your girl daji imara welcome back if you're not a real one go ahead and hit the subscribe button so you can become a part of the family like look come on what you doing go ahead and hit the button get it out the way before we get the video started just go ahead and hit it all right so let me tell y'all about today i am going to be doing a video on my favorites like the best freaking um moisturizers for combination skin um if you are someone who struggles with finding like the best moisturizer you know to maintain your skin i know what that's like because it's like your skin is like not one or it's not one type altogether so you need something that caters to your craziness you know for me my combination skin i'm really oily in my t-zone and it's pretty normal on the outside but underneath my eyes are super dry like right here is dry but it'll be an oily mess like right around my nose and on my forehead and my eyebrows like my chin I get I look like I just sprayed some water on my face like it gets that oily but I'm still dry at the same time so finding a moisturizer took a long time you know took a lot of money and trial and error but I found the best ones that help maintain my skin and keep my makeup applications as flawless as it possibly can. No, it doesn't simply cure the fact that I have oily, oilness, um, oilness, what the hell is that? That I have oily T-zone or dryness underneath my eyes, but it helps my skin feel better whenever I'm putting makeup on or if I'm going outside and it's super hot or it's the um, temperature is super dry out so my skin doesn't feel that um, feel negative. So yeah, I feel like I came in with the best products um, I use, I'm going to explain when I use these products, why I use them during this time, whatever. And yeah, let's get started. But, but before we get started, go ahead and hit the like button. Get that out the way because I already know y'all going to feel the video. I already know. I already know y'all. Okay? So, all right, let's go. <laughs> okay, so the first products I have is the Garnier uh, Skin Active Moisture Rescue. Don't talk about it because it's gone. But I'm going to put a picture on it, what it looks like when it's full. But I've been, I basically use this whole thing. This right here, hold on, hold on, like it's clear. I'm just gonna post a picture on it. This is my absolute favorite moisturizer to use in the summertime. Let me explain to you why. In the I live in Atlanta, Georgia. It is hot as hell. So having, um, I already don't wear makeup too much unless I'm going out somewhere during the day because it's just going to melt. Like there's, there's no way that no, there's no type of finishing spray, primer, nothing that can cure sweat okay so whenever i'm going out during the day i use the minimum amount of makeup or i just pick me on a bomb ass moisturizer to keep my skin together this stuff is bomb because putting on heavier creamy um, moisturizers tend to make me sweat more and feel more uncomfortable so i always want to go light whenever i'm moisturizing my skin in the summertime this gives me a nice glow but it also it's not too watery some type of gels can be just feel like i put water on my skin then my skin get dry and then i just feel like it was a waste of time this is the perfect um, the perfect consistency for when I want something to moisturize my skin as well as give me a natural looking glow. So if you are into gels, some people don't like gels, some people it's not enough for them. I think this is a, this one particularly is best for combination skin. So this one I usually use if I'm going outside of my house. Like some, some moisturizers I use like after I've been washing my face in the morning or after I've been washing my face at night, taking my makeup off. This one I use for, this is my daily moisturizer. If I'm just putting moisturizer on and I'm going on out the house, going on about my day. This is my absolute favorite one for that. So that's the first moisturizer that I recommend for combination skin. Let's move on to the next one. This one, I feel like this works for anybody's skin. This is like a one size fits all moisturizer. It's really rare that you'll ever find anybody say anything negative about this unless they're probably like allergic to it or something. But the palms, the palms, but the palms moisturizer, this is the uh, nourishing moisturizer for very dry, for dry to very dry skin. The reason why I use this one except for, um, opposed to the normal ones is because this is like a little bit goes a long way even though um it says you know you can use this for super dry skin which are people who literally have absolutely like no moisture in their skin depending on the time of the year specifically the winter to fall in atlanta the weather could be like it could be hot one day next minute you need your boots on so this is definitely the perfect um moisturizer when the weather is like iffy every couple of days because my skin be going through it like oh my gosh it's just ridiculous so when is when the weather is like iffy like that wishy-washy i always have to use a heavier cream this stuff 
it feels like you know when you put like vaseline like cocoa butter on it and it just makes your skin feel so soft and you just want to be naked so you can just rub all over your skin because it just feels so great that's how i feel like this feels like on your face like body lotion feels completely different on your face than it does on your body but i feel like this gives you the same effect that body lotion does on your face if you if that made sense this stuff is perfect if you just want you just want that comfort, you know? Like I said, that co the way that cocoa butter feels on your skin, that's how this feels on my face. So that's my absolute favorite. Like if I got to have my absolute favorite moisturizer in the whole world, it's this one. But I only use it when the weather is like wishy-washy on and off. So, you know, keep that moisture up in my skin. So that's that on that, okay? Is the Formula 10.0 um, Seriously Shine uh, Free Moisturizer. Don't laugh at it. It looks a hot-ass mess. Look at this, like it looks crazy. But this, if I want to do a matte look, like I want all the shine in my skin gone and I want to look matte, this is the absolute perfect, um, this is the absolute perfect moisturizer. There are people who have combination skin, like I love the glow look, some people don't like glow. If you want to take away all the shine when you're off your face but without being dry, this is the perfect, this is the absolute perfect moisturizer for that. If you just want to eliminate shine altogether and just want even tone, you just want that matte look without it looking like your skin is like crusty, I highly recommend this. This stuff is great. I definitely de recommend doing this as a little bit because if you put too much on it, then you're gonna feel like stiff in your face because I actually have done that a couple times and I'm thinking like, what's wrong with this stuff? But you definitely gotta do this a little bit at a time. But, um, I, and also if you don't even wanna put this on your whole face, just the places where you do have shine, like for me, it would be my T-zone. So if I just wanna take away the shine in my T-zone, you could just put it on those areas, but if you want to take away all the shine in your face, this shit right here, that's going to get you right, okay? It's going to get you right. But me, like I said, I'm not into really just complete matte looks. I love me a dewy finish. It's so bomb. Next one, this is a moisturizer slash primer. This is the Fenty No Filter Primer. I absolutely love wearing this when I have like no makeup days because even though it's a primer i it's a great moisturizer like it literally makes i don't know what the hell it does well, obviously that's probably why it's called the no filter damn primer it literally looks like i have a filter on my face like it low-key looks like it took away it took away the texture it took away the you know the dryness the pores like when i put this on i feel like i have a filter like i'm on instagram like got a filter on my face and i'm just like how do you, how what do they do to this what is in this that it makes you look like your skin from like i swear if i have texture or any pores or anything and i put this on it low-key like eliminates it and it's just like damn my skin look for looking from a hot ass mess to having all these acne marks from breaking out on my period and i look like i got a filter on like i don't even need the filter on instagram i just put this on and boom skin is flawless so if you want flawless skin with not even having to do makeup this this is right here i don't even really care that this is a primer like because i'm not really into primers i don't really care like if my makeup gonna crease, if it's gonna get shine, it's gonna shine no matter about the primer. But if I want to look like I got a filter on my damn face, this Fenty, th this Fenty though, th this Fenty, okay? I'm telling y'all, I'm, I'm telling y'all, this Fenty is where it's at, okay? The last product, which is my absolute favorite, I probably use this every single day, is the Beauty Bakery Wake and Bake Baking Oil. This is my favorite and this is why i'm going to tell y'all i absolutely believe that oils are the best products moisturizing products when it comes to combination skin fuck me and the reason i believe that oils are better for people with oily to combination skin because usually when people have oily skin or combination skin they think i need matte products i need to take away this shine i need to you know even this out and that can end up making your skin dry and textury and crusty and it's like when you have oily skin, you don't want it to necessarily take away the shine, but you want to maintain it so it's like an even amount. So oils, oils in my opinion, do a great job at that, especially oils that are like, more like absorbing instead of just sitting on your face looking like you just put some vegetable oil on your face. This doesn't give me that vegetable oil look. It gives me like a glow look. If you want that glow that just looks like you just got flawless skin, like I woke up like this, this oil in particular is my absolute favorite. Another thing, when you are taking away so much shine on your face, it can actually change the type of skin that you have because you're just stripping away all of those natural oils and you don't want to do that. 
Because even the oily skin, oil, the most oily skin needs hydration. You don't want to just take away, think, oh, this is oil, so it needs to be dried. No, you still need hydration. That's when, and then that can come in when you want to use like setting mist or things on your face in a, um, that, to pair up with your moisturizers. When you have oily skin, you don't want to just strip away all the oils because your skin needs, still needs hydration. Because sometimes your the natural um, oils in your own skin that you produce are not enough. So that's when you have these substitutes as moisturizers and mists to, um, you know, put all on your face. So I, particularly if you are a combination skin girl like me, specifically if you got that oily, like this is the most oily, the most oily part of my face is this forehead right here in my eyebrows. Like this gets so oily and then around my nose. It looks a mess. But instead of me just trying to strip away all of the oils on my face, I add a, a absorbing oil so it can just maintain that and not give me no crusty look. Because I don't want to be crusty, but I also don't want to look like I got vegetable oil, okay? All up on my face. So those are my top moisturizers for combination skin. None of these have done me wrong. They all serve a different purpose, even though I only have one skin type. But they all serve a different purpose. I'll use them different times of the day, different times of, you know, the year, depending on the makeup look I'm going for. But these, for years, I've been doing my makeup for 10 years. That's crazy to say, like 2010 to like 9, 10 years. That's ridiculous. And these are the same products that I recently, like, go, that I will rotate. Like, once I'm out of these, I'm adding it right back into my kit like these products are bomb so i hope this video was extremely informative if you are a combination girl combination skin girl like me what products do you use to maintain your combination skin um do you use mist do you use oils do you use creams do you use gels i know i did a mix of all of them but what's your go-to moisturizer when it comes to maintaining your combination skin let me know in the comments below if you guys want to keep up with my shenanigans, go ahead and follow me on all of my social media. I'm active every single day. And I hope you enjoyed this video. This was really fun. I hope it was informative. And I will see you guys in my next one. Peace.